it's seven seven eleven, which I wanted to post something with this date because it's just a trippy seven seven eleven. Let's buy a lotto ticket. Someone told me being smart isn't what you can pull off the top of your head, but what you know how to look up. And one of the things that I found about astrology that um, keeps me engaged is that I'm always learning something because the planets are always moving, you're meeting new people, you're learning more about yourself. So the study uh, never ends, which is nice for someone like me. I have uh, Mercury, which is a sign of your five senses, what comes in, what goes out, your communication. And Saturn, which is like how you work things in Virgo, which loves detail. So something like astrology, which where the study never ends, it's really kind of a nice thing. What I wanted to share uh, this evening um, is the beginning of the month or the beginning of the week and the beginning of the week uh, forecasts of um, a couple of my my favorite astrologers. Now, the beginning of the month forecast that I like the most, um, or that gives me the most information, is with Jeff Jower and Rick Levine. Uh, they meet up at a coffee shop in Washington State, and they they talk for about an hour, and they put up three videos, three or four videos, uh, at, after the first Wednesday of the month, so it would be the first Thursday, you'd see it up on YouTube at Jeff Jower's uh, YouTube account, which I'll have in the in the little description uh, space below. And um, they go over the whole month. And uh, then when the month is, when they put up new videos, I think Jeff does it, puts up new videos, he takes off the old ones. So you can't go back and see what, they did for the month before you just have you just have the stuff for the month and then when they have the new month forecast then they put that up um, just to give you an idea of like how much information I got oops, can we see notes notes this is double-sided right double-sided Doubts. They're just gone for days. Oops, can you see? I don't know if you can see. Anyway, that's from listening to the three videos twice and getting a hand cramp. Lots of information about the general transits, the transiting planets overhead, and uh, there's that. Uh, Something that's mm, about three videos of 15 minutes each, so about 45 minutes worth of videos. Just chocolate block with two guys doing tag team astrology. Very interesting. Then uh, something shorter. It's a half an hour. And it would be Anne Ortley, and that's O-R-T-E-L-E-E, -E -E, uh, sitting at her bright red desk in uh, Manhattan. And she does the weekly weather on blog talk radio I will put the link down below and for her I got in a half an hour I got one two one two three four five sites of notes now she's a Virgo she also follows up with um, um, a text on her blog and it's like this long I mean because she's a Virgo she has lots of information and when they blog talk radio said oh if you want to do it for free. You can only do it for half an hour on uh, prime time. So she just like condensed an hour worth of information in a half an hour and she talks really fast and she gives a lot of information. She also deals with more than the normal uh, <laughs> round up the usual suspects. The usual suspects of like nine heavenly bodies. Uh, she just like does even more. Um, fixed stars and asteroids and different things. She's a, a wealth of information, but that's a half an hour, and that happens um, every Monday. So, um, I think it was a Monday. Let me double check. 
Well, she did it earlier this week because she was going to um, holiday weekend. So she did it on a, she posted this on a Saturday. Usually it's a Sunday. She also does Access Astrology with uh, uh, Heather Rowan Robbins and Mark Waltz. Uh, they're uh, three astrologers, two in New York and one, um, I think, in Indiana or someplace in the Midwest. And um, and they um, they do a half an hour where they talk about the stuff that's happening in the news and then they take a couple of telephone call-ins. I'll put the link below. Now, if you only want to put in like 15 minutes and get a bunch of information, and I've mentioned her at least a bunch of times, Eileen Locke, bless her heart. Uh, she does the Cosmic Lunch Break, 15 minutes on Mondays on Blog Talk Radio. And for her 15 minutes, I got one, two, three, three sides of notes. That's just the start of what I do at the beginning of the month and at the beginning of the week, every week, just to um, stay uh, abreast or two breasts. <laughs> I couldn't resist uh, of the of the astrological transits uh, that are going on. There are many more. Um, I will be sharing. Um, various uh, YouTube astrologers and astrology blogs and um, but if you wondered where I was uh, in the last couple of days well moon went into Virgo remember when I burnt my beans when I did the yod oh, I burnt those beans but you know my son says beans are only about a dollar a pound don't worry so I just made some more beans and they came out really good but um, Moon went into Virgo, and I just started cleaning house like crazy. I think I've done like five loads of wash, scrub floors, clean the bathroom, da da da. And then um, Jeff Jower and Rick Levine uploaded their videos uh, out on YouTube, and I was listening to the other people and taking notes uh, from their forecasts. And uh, before I knew it, it was turning around, and it's like seven, seven, eleven, and 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 I haven't uh, made a mention. So just to let you know that um, I don't pull this information off the top of my head, just sort of, oh, she's so smart. No, I study. This is this is something that um, um, I enjoy doing, and I take it very seriously. And I, you have to just keep on. Uh, putting information in your head because no matter how much I study uh, there still seems to be more to learn so uh, I'm sharing um, d you know these astrologers here with you today I'll share uh, more with you uh, another time different people um, there's other um, uh, uh, astrologers that I, I really like like stars over Washington if you're into political and economic astrology Psh, this gal is just too wonderful I just I just want to like scrub her kitchen for her in gratitude so uh, that's what I've been doing and um, I'm going to be uh, hopefully uh, taping some um, stuff tomorrow about um, we have a, um, a Jupiter in Taurus trying Pluto and Capricorn um, long-term trine. Trines are easy, uh, but sometimes they're just like, can be a little lazy, you know, if you don't like take advantage of them. But it's going to go on until like next year because there's like, there are slower moving planets. And so, and there's going to be three passes, direct, retrograde, and direct again. Uh, there's that. We have the uh, Grand Cardinal Square that's going on, and we have a boatload of trines, eight planets involved in a bunch of trines, and um, on different dates. So uh, today uh, is just the the start of uh, getting back into the recording. So uh, so there it is, and um, let's see how this goes. Of course, no script. We're just nattering. Okay.